Welcome. Uh, so what I'd like to do is show you how to graph uh, when we're provided the slope and the y-intercept. So in this case, we have the slope is 0 and the y-intercept is 5. Now, in the rest of the course, we've been mostly dealing with problems that are in the slope-intercept form. So let's go ahead and get an idea of you know, what exactly this would look like, because I think this would help um, as far as graphing this, because yeah, we know the y-intercept is at 5, so we can plot that point. But how is the rest of the graph going to look? So if I was going to take y in our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, where m represents our slope and b represents our y-intercept, I would have an equation that's going to look something like this. Okay, And then 0 times x is always going to be 0. So really, I'm trying to graph an equation that is y equals 5. So how exactly is that going to look? Now, if you don't already have um, your vertical and horizontal lines memorized, then let's go and look at exactly, let's go and graph this exactly how we would plot this. So first of all, if we're just going to plot in slope-intercept form, I know my y-intercept is at 0, 5. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I make a big dot. Now, the problem is the slope is 0. So I, it doesn't tell me you know, change in y um, is 0. So that means I'm not going to be going up or down. And the change um, left and right, you could say, well, uh, that can't be 0, because then it would be, we'd have something that would be undefined. right? Because if you're thinking about this, you can't, if it's 0, it has to be um, 0 over a. It's not going to be a over 0. You can't have the change in x being 0 because it's not undefined. It's just saying it's 0. So when we look at this, if you're the best way I like to think about this is looking at a table of values. If I was going to say, all right, well, then what about if x is 1? Well, since there is no x, y is always going to be 5. And so the equation y equals 5 or y equals anything is always going to produce a horizontal line. And when you have a horizontal line, that represents when your slope is going to be 0. If it had a vertical line, then our slope would be undefined. But in this case, uh, we have slope is 0. So therefore, we have a horizontal line at our y-intercept of y equals 5. Thanks.